All right, we are here with Dave Cox. Hi, Dave. Hey, how's it going? Oh, wait, that's not Dave. <laughs> this is Dave, and we're doing a little interview. Yay. Hey, Dave. Fun interview stuff. Yay. Dave works for Eleventy, which you saw that, uh, uh, or will see that video. I don't know which point, which one comes which first. One comes first, yeah. But um, Dave works here. What do you do here? Uh, I uh, keep track of the chickens, make sure they don't get out of the coop, and mm -hmm. I collect the eggs mostly. So I'm a uh, title would be CEO, and I handle uh, a lot Let's of the stuff here. that happens here on the business side. Um, mm -hmm. Have uh, input as to what happens creatively, and uh, work heavy with uh, Will hand in hand. Uh, Will does uh, all the photography and uh, retouching and all that kind of stuff. And then um, we basically do really cool shit for really cool people. Now, did you start off with this um, as an artist or just like the business aspect? More on the business aspect, but working with um, artists. And then I, you know, I can give um, creative direction pretty well and strategic uh, concept development. Um, but then actually getting in there and doing the stuff, it was much better for me to uh, focus on the business aspect and let people who are really good at that do that. Uh huh. Do you take pictures? Uh, no. No? Not really? That's, that's no. intriguing. I know. Because on like the social world, you're kind of known as that's like, what, yeah. you're the, you're known as an artist yeah. of sorts. Well, and you know, I think that there are different types of artists. You know, there's the people who actually get in and do, and then there's the people that help deliver strategy to help people who do I think know what to do. what you're doing is way intriguing to artists. Yeah, because they don't... Even more so than, like, what I'm doing or what a, the picture take Because we know ourselves. We right. know, you know, like, we want to see what other artists are doing, of course, but we're just baffled by what you're doing <laughs> of making Fun stuff. artists make yeah. money. <clears throat> so we, we look at, um, take a project like this, right, Splinter Cell. We work with a client like Ubisoft. And we will go in, um, and what I'm basically responsible for is, you know, helping find the client, helping develop uh, the projects that they need, going in at the strategy level um, for different ideation sessions, and figuring out um, what are the demographics we're looking at, those kind of things, what's going to speak to these people, what are the different uh, emotions and feelings we're trying to get off um, in the work. And then we basically come back and we start to put together a different uh, execution plan that then our um, actual in the trenches creative people will go and enact through photography, uh, 3D, retouching, Photoshop, all the different methods that we use to actually create these things. And then um, I'll, be, I'll help out throughout the process by giving input, uh, coming in at the final um, step to do a kind of a quality check. Um, where I go in and literally look at every square inch of an image mm -hmm. uh, at a very high resolution. So you know, <coughs> you know pictures and stuff like that. Oh, absolutely, that. yeah, yeah. You have an eye for that as well. Definitely, yeah. So all of our work kind of goes through this quality control <coughs> funnel, um, where it hits not only the artist that's creating it, but the client manager who is helping with that client, and then eventually, ultimately, through my desk, so I can take a look and say, okay, this is what's going on. Um, add opportunity for improvement in different areas, um, things that I see are missing, because I've been involved from the get-go with the client discussions. I know the idea of what they're thinking mentally, what the client needs are, mm -hmm. and then how to marry that with what the creative team or the creative brain is also trying to do to bring those two together. A lot of times, for a lot of people, that can be a very tough situation, you know, to go, okay, I'm a creative person, I have this client who is asking me for all these demands, and how do I react when they, when I've poured my heart and soul into this piece of art and shoved it across the table to them and now they are stabbing it with a knife and saying this is horrible, I don't like it, blah blah blah, because it didn't necessarily hit their demographic or the different needs that they had. So it's my job to make sure that that stabbing and that process doesn't happen or is less painful for everybody involved. Cool. Does that make sense at all? Yeah. Okay. But you... I've been, uh, I've you go and assist on photo shoots Absolutely. as well. Yeah, yeah. So I, I've got the... Um, Are you there mainly to kind of like help with the 
client photographer interaction and get their uh, get a better sense of what they're wanting and yeah so it's that just it's, seal it out you know a lot of times clients will feel um either uninvolved or over involved especially in the commercial type shoots that we do a lot of times we're working with um, an outside art director creative director um, production artist that kind of thing and they'll either feel like a they don't have a voice at the photo shoot because we are doing our thing mm -hmm. and they kind of want to let us do that so it's my job in those instances to say you know are you liking everything you're seeing we want to make sure you have input because if they take ownership of that project and say of this piece that was my call I had told them to do this kind of pose or I told them to twist it this way or what if his hair was blowing or something like that they're gonna be a lot more excited about the final the finished piece mm -hmm. um, on the opposite side if a, a client is having too much interaction, is trying to over direct yeah. the thing, then I can help um, mitigate that to so you're photographer helping out or artist on site. You're helping out the art, the photographer as well, so that they can kind of stick to what they want to do. Absolutely, yeah. I'm running and not interference. Be, okay, for sure, yeah, and making sure you know and. and Beyond that, I do know, obviously, like the lighting and all that kind of stuff, so helping out getting all that kind of stuff set, but mm -hmm. that's really only on the shoots that we don't have, you know, grips and that kind of stuff on, because typically our budgets will allow us to have somebody cool. running around and doing that, because I don't like lifting where do you so. Where do you send your clients to go and see your stuff? Oh, man. We Where's send the best them. place right now for you guys? Gosh, there's so many. Uh, because you have stuff coming in every day, so. Yeah. So we have a bunch of stuff. Um, you can see some of our more in-depth project breakdowns on Behance, and that is just... Is that uh, your site, Behance? No, no, Behance. Uh, you haven't heard of this? No, I haven't. Oh, yeah, Behance is an awesome uh, creative marketplace gallery type site. There is their main page where you can get a bunch of creative inspiration and stuff. Um, our site on that is behance.net slash 11 Okay. Uh, you can go to uh, 500 Picks is where a lot of updated stuff is. You guys are familiar with 500 Picks. It's 500picks.com slash Dave Cox. And then uh, Google Plus. Uh, you'll link my Google Plus, I'm sure, mm -hmm. which exists on here. And I don't really use Twitter too much. Not a huge Twitter fan just because the feed goes so fast. Or 110.com. Does it 11 have a. .com. How, how often are you guys able to update that? With your newest um, work? We are not updating that as often as we should with our newest work, just yeah. because it's like the whole, you know, the cobbler's kids have no shoes kind of thing. Mm. Your, your own personal projects kind of tend to fall by the wayside. So we do put up new blog posts every now and then, but uh, as far as work goes, it's not the most up-to-date, which we hope to be changing soon. This yeah. entire site will be going through a revamp uh, okay. before mid-year 2013. So yeah, that's some of the fun stuff we do, and then we also do, aside from just photo stuff, we do video and okay. a bunch of other things as well. So, well, cool. Yeah. Where, what did you do before this? Before this? Uh, gosh, I, I was, I'm a serial uh, entrepreneur um, oh, okay. and uh, kind of free spirit, I guess. Other so, than the other serial thing. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So by the time I was uh, 25, I'm sorry, by the time I was 23, I had had 26 different jobs. Now that's between the ages of 14 and 23. I had 26 different jobs. And you've been here for a while though now. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I started it and with Will, so okay. I will be here until it eventually crashes and burns into the ground in a giant ball of flame. Oh well, nice. Let's yeah. end on that note. <laughs> that's Dave Cox. There you go. Thanks, Dave, for being on my little interview series. You got it. Word. Peace out. <laughs>